The A-10 Thunderbolt II, known as the Warthog, was developed in the early 1970s as part of the U.S. Air Force's AX program, aiming for a low-cost, durable aircraft for close air support. At that time, stealth technology was not yet mature, with the first operational stealth aircraft, the F-117 Nighthawk, entering service in 1983. Given this timeline, incorporating stealth into the A-10 was not feasible. The A-10's primary mission is close air support, requiring it to operate at low altitudes, often below 1,000 feet, and low speeds, loitering near battle areas to provide direct fire support. This role necessitated a design focused on survivability rather than stealth. The aircraft was engineered to withstand intense anti-aircraft environments, including guns, radar-guided, and infrared missiles, with features like a titanium tub protecting the pilot from 23mm armor-piercing and high-explosive rounds. Self-sealing fuel tanks lined with reticulated polyurethane foam and double-redundant hydraulic systems with manual backups ensured it could continue flying even after significant damage, such as losing half a wing or one engine. These design choices reflect a strategy of absorbing and surviving damage, contrasting with stealth's aim of avoiding detection altogether. The A-10's physical design is inherently non-stealthy, a fact rooted in its operational requirements and historical design priorities. Stealth aircraft, such as the F-35 Lightning II, rely on smooth, angular shapes to deflect radar waves, minimizing their radar cross-section. In contrast, the A-10 features straight wings optimized for low-speed maneuverability, a bulky fuselage to house the GAU-8A Avenger cannon, weighing 4,000 pounds and firing 3,900 rounds per minute, and external stores for munitions, all of which contribute to a large radar signature. The high-mounted twin GE TF-34 turbofan engines, while reducing foreign object debris intake, do not align with stealth principles as they increase infrared visibility. Additionally, the use of radar absorbent materials or RAM, which absorb 70 to 80 percent of radar waves, is impractical for the A-10 due to their fragility, unsuitable for low-altitude operations under fire where frequent, costly replacements would be needed. Retrofitting the A-10 for stealth would require a radical overhaul, fundamentally altering its airframe and systems. This would involve redesigning the wings, fuselage, and engine placement to reduce radar reflectivity, potentially compromising its durability and cost-effectiveness. According to We Are The Mighty, the operational cost of the A-10 is currently around $4,944 per hour, significantly lower than the F-35 at $44,455 per hour. Such modifications would increase costs, making it more economical to develop a new platform, such as a hypothetical Axe II, rather than upgrading an existing design. Moreover, the A-10's cannon, while effective against older armor like T-62 tanks, struggles against modern tanks like China's Type 99A or Russia's T-14 armada, further diminishing the need for stealth in its current role.